whatever you take out of Carney's statements that nobody in the White House knew, then we found out the White House counsel knew. Then she told the chief of staff. I think the biggest news that came out this week, Stephanie Cutter met with the IRS chairman. Uh, that's part of the political campaign. She's, she's the deputy campaign manager. Again, we were told by Carney right. that never happened. No, it, there, it's absolutely uh, inexplicable that the IRS commissioner would be at the White House 157 times. I mean, most administrations, most honest administrations, make a, a big effort to separate out what's happening in the White House from the IRS. Uh, the IRS is supposed to be an independent agency. We're not supposed to be in a situation where the president is using the IRS to go after his enemies. And when you've got members of his political campaign meeting with the head of the IRS, you know there's something very fishy going on. Um, yeah. But I would also say, you know, people should look at this, frankly, those of us who are conservatives, those of us who are patriots, you know, people, those of us who uh, agree with what the Tea Party stands for, you know, and, and take comfort in the fact that the administration would not be targeting us if they weren't worried about our power, if they weren't worried about the power of these organizations to make real change and frankly to interfere with their plans for the nation. So uh, it, it should give people hope in terms of, of our ability to, to affect the future here.